Hi, it's Miss Dorothy here from Room 4. We're going to read a story from the Sherlock Center today. It's called She Persisted. It's going to be about famous women. Okay, here it goes. Harriet Tubman was born a slave. Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery. Harriet Tubman is an important person of the Underground Railroad. What else are we going to read about? Let's see. <gasps> Helen Keller. Helen Keller was deaf and blind. She learned to read and write and speak. Helen Keller was the first deaf and blind person to graduate from college. Lara Lemlet moved from the Ukraine to New York City. She worked for higher pay and shorter hours. She was all about women's rights. Nellie Bly was a writer. Nellie Bly wrote stories of danger and bad events. Virginia Apgar was a female doctor. Virginia Apgar made a test for babies that hospitals use today. And Claudette Colvin was an African-American girl. She was asked to give her seat to a white woman on a bus. She said no. Miss Colvin helped start the civil rights movement. What else do we have? Let's see. Oh, here's Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges was an African-American girl. Ruby Bridges went to a school with white people. Ruby Bridges walked to school with angry, hateful people for weeks. So she was very brave. Here's another brave lady, Sally Ride. Sally Ride was the first American woman in space. Sally Ride traveled to space two times. Sally Ride made science programs for girls. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's an athlete. Let's read about her. Florence Griffith Joyner loved to run. Florence Griffith Joyner has a world record as the fastest woman runner. Florence Griffith Joyner is the fastest today. Oh, we have one more. It's Oprah. Oprah Winfrey was told she would be a maid. Oprah Winfrey became famous around the world. Today, Oprah Winfrey has a television show and a magazine. I don't think she has a television show anymore, but she's still involved in making shows for other people. Okay, and that's the end of our story for today. I hope you like learning and listening about famous American women. That's all for now. Bye.